50 years since the first Earth Day, millions of Americans find themselves using numerous digital platforms to social distance. As the pandemic keeps millions of Americans at home and off the roads, one unintended consequence may be less emissions from cars since everyone's at home. But according to a CBS Money Watch article entitled, Coronavirus is Pushing More Work Online, is that good for the planet? All those digital platforms that we rely on to social distance are having a big carbon footprint. Hard to imagine, but the size of that footprint may actually surprise you. The author of that article, Irina Ivanova, joins me now. She's a reporter and video producer for CBS Money Watch. So, this sounds so crazy, though. Give us an idea how all that infrastructure that makes our online activity possible factors into the world's carbon pollution. It, it seems unlikely. That's right, Rena. Uh, one thing we forget um, about the digital world is that it does have a physical footprint. Um, you know, even leaving aside the uh, materials and the energy it takes to actually make a laptop or a cell phone. You know, when you send a tweet, when you edit a document, or when you watch a video, uh, that activity is going through wires to a computer server somewhere in a large server building back to your device, and powering all of that takes electricity. Um, you know, so when you consider all of that power taken together, uh, the networks and the data centers, um, estimates are that the digital, uh, digital technology contributes about two to three percent of global emissions. That's about as much as flying. Um, so it's it's not as wow. bad as, say, driving, but it definitely is not something mm -hmm. that is carbon free. I mean, reading your article just blew my mind about this. I'd never thought of this. Are we expecting, Irina, to see digital carbon emissions increase over the next year? So one of the things that scientists are concerned about is, um, you know, over the over the next few years, uh, we're seeing trends in computing that take more and more and more data, and therefore potentially more and more energy. Uh, so things like artificial intelligence, uh, which we're using to solve more and more problems, um, that is something that is very data intensive. Um, same thing with augmented reality and virtual reality. Um, also 5G, it makes a lot more data available more quickly. Um, also uses a lot more energy. Um, and then finally, the Internet of Things. You know, when you think about the fact that your fridge and your thermostat now has a computer in it and it's pinging data back and forth constantly, all of that does use more data and potentially more energy. What are really the specific things that create the most emissions? Yeah, so even leaving aside, you know, AI and AR, um, some of the things that we do now are a lot more uh, carbon intensive, energy intensive than others. So generally speaking, uh, media, like looking at photos, looking at videos, uses more data than dealing with text, if you think about uh, emailing. Um, you know, HD video or 4K video uses a lot more energy than watching a low res video. Um, it's more efficient to download something and watch it later than to stream it, um, because streaming does use a lot more energy. And then if you do stream, um, it actually takes a lot more energy to do it over your phone's data network uh, than to do it over an internet connection. Um, and then the device that you're using also matters. You know, if you're uh, if you're streaming something to, to your TV, you know, which we're all doing a lot now, you know, we're all binging Netflix. Um, if that's going to, to your large screen TV, that actually uses a lot more energy than if you were to watch it on your laptop or your tablet. Mm. You know, with all of this input now, so many more people working from homes, taxing maybe the, this infrastructure, creating greater demand and the energy for it. What are you watching when it comes to this next year as more and more people are working from home? Yeah, so, so something that uh, one scientist said when I was researching this piece is, you know, we're living through a massive uh, natural experiment right now, you know, because we are using more electricity. We see that, you know, um, Netflix just added uh, something like 60 million subscribers. They had a record quarter. Um, you know, we're all Zooming. We're all slacking. We're video chatting with our friends instead of seeing them in person. Um, on the other hand, you know, we're, we're doing a lot less uh, of things like driving. You know, traffic is, is down like 80 percent in the U.S. Um, does that all balance out? We don't really know that uh, right now, but it is something that scientists are looking at and uh, hope to have an answer to. It's an incredible article. I, I recommend everyone go and read it. it I, as this is happening, I'm live streaming my show. My son's doing Zoom lesson for violins, and my daughter is FaceTiming friends. You know, I, I never thought of that <laughs> carbon footprint that we might be putting out. Irina, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me.
Well, coming up, we have a lot more news to get to across the country and around the world. Stay with us. You're streaming CBS at.